Welcome to yet another tutorial. I'm Excel, your host on Excel Studios. So on today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can do this in very simple steps. I did this for my Instagram and it got good response and uh, I felt like I should share it so people can learn how to do it. But the most important part of this video, what I want people to learn the most on this uh, tutorial is uh, the procedure, the technique behind this. Cause this technique can be used in uh, several ways and uh, to create different things. So without wasting time, time if you're new to this channel uh, after watching this video if it helps you in any way please do sh like share and subscribe so let's get right into the video all right so um, as you can see I already have my footage imported on the timeline and uh, it's ready to go so whatever footage that you have selected you have uh, chosen you just bring it right in onto after effect so we go to the place where we're gonna start doing the transitions uh, which is probably from the moment the phone start it's where we're gonna do it but uh, for cro for chroma key reasons uh, we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna start at a place uh, where we see the green screen uh, clearly for chroma key all right uh, effect and preset key light look for key light key light uh, then we just drop it change final results to intermediate results you have better results then just choose the picker then as you can see it's fine but we can see a little bit of uh, this green green stuff and to see if your chroma key worked perfectly you come to here where it shows it says show channel and color management settings then you come to uh, alpha here as you can see it shouldn't show this it should be purely pure white and black it should be black and white only so what we do is go to green uh, screen mat uh, clip white is what we we decrease and uh, clip back is what we increase then let's see the results RGB okay that's fine as we can still see the green stuff so what we do is uh, bring on key light the pill, uh, spill suppressor uh, okay, then uh, we just say uh, tick advance, then bam, it's gone. Now you have a clean plate. Now you have a clean plate. So what we sh I don't know why the colors are changing, but yeah, I'll figure that. Out. Maybe, maybe it's because of the of the chroma key I did, but it usually doesn't have this problem. But we'll figure that out later, as long as it doesn't mess up with our actual video. So it's fine uh, from the moment we just look for the moment you start seeing the phone here control uh, select the footage control D for to, for to duplicate then uh, you come right here when it's this you go to your first uh, layer on top press s for scale and uh, keyframe take your first keyframe this is the normal size that's that that's that uh, that's there we don't uh, mess with that then from here we take the scale all the way up all the way up and after that we we go to come, let's just come back this side position to to align the keyframes together then go back to this keyframe position Then we go back to scale, position to have this. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too fast for the scale. So what we do is this side and make we make sure that the position and the scale are aligned so everything can be smooth scale let's I think maybe the scale should be here and the position just a little bit here no 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 this should be here 
Okay, now it's uh, giving some trouble. But let, let me just select the uh, keyframes, easy ease. Go to scale uh, F9 to easy ease. It's okay. Scale. Let me put the scale a little bit further. Uh, okay, don't mind that message. Uh, okay, let me just save this. Toots. Uh, okay. All right. So basically, this is the uh, major, the major editing that we needed to do. So from here now, it's gonna be a smooth run, right? Let's just uh, play this. Uh, video back let me just play this video back oh scale I feel like it should you know it should be smooth and uh, let me just uh position let me also push a bit so you can just yeah so you can match better exactly now this is perfect that's exactly what i want now uh, from here what we do is because after it is already zoomed in, we don't need the other unnecessary parts. We just control shift D on your first layer to, to cut and then delete. Then from here, uh, we on the second layer, press control D to duplicate. So we also go away from where the phone first. sorry about that let me not move that oh, okay let me uh, control J to duplicate your control J a uh, control D sorry that's uh, for Photoshop control J to duplicate uh, all right we first we go to where the phone first starts showing take this right here and as for scale I think we, what we need to do is just push this a little bit back like maybe uh, like this step back and uh, control P so I should push yeah and uh, the scale I think should be should be done faster should be done faster All right, exactly. Okay, this is perfect. I like the way it's already looking. All right, this here, zoom in. Then from the moment we here, what we also do is this is for sim for 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 simplicity. We copy right, Control C while scale is selected. We go to our second layer. Call press S, and uh, right here we just Control V to paste and uh, since control V selected we go back here to for position P we control C to copy press P on your keyboard for then control V uh, so now we 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 seem to have something smooth Yeah, I feel like it's uh, way ahead of, ahead of its time. Right, let's see how this looks now. All right, I think it's looking perfect. Then same thing again, because from here, what we're going to do with this, we, we're not going to make this long. Uh, we're going to create a loop out of this. Then uh, from from the loop, it it's just going to play. It's just going to act as if it's very long. Uh, control D duplicate I think this would be our last layer all right 
we, we already have the let, let's just select here scale copy scale press s uh go here p control c p control v oh no no sorry it's control v yeah now to create the loop what we do uh, simple technique to get the loop right here simple technique because I actually need to control shift D cut control shift D I'm just removing unnecessary parts uh, that we don't need then from here what we do is duplicate your first layer go here here we just because we're just expanding the from the first layer so we can So wait, I just wanna let's find the endpoint. Yeah, let's just let me put the endpoint, which is let me say. Okay, Control Shift D. All right, let's uh, duplicate this again. Bring it here. And uh, scale, we just need to copy the scale from up here. Control C, Control. Alright, P. Control C, Control uh, P. Yes, uh. Okay, I saw a transparent layer, which should not even be there. Yeah. Now we just push this a little bit back until we f we feel like there's that there is that a uh, smooth. Oh, push it backwards until there's a switch without any glitch okay let me just come right here
okay let me maybe push it uh, forward I even want to push it forward uh, okay I know we're gonna get it yes there it is see there's the perfect loop now it doesn't end so this video is like literally four seconds long if you post it on Instagram uh, TikTok or wherever if it, it's on autoplay it's just gonna keep playing keep playing and people are gonna you know uh, although although people who know loops are gonna know this is a loop but you know it's just fascinating to see that okay it's a loop actually you know we don't know where it ends we don't know where it begins you see so there we have it it's a perfect loop so if you have enjoyed this video, if you have um, learned something from it, please do leave a sus uh, sus uh, a share, a comment. Sorry, leave a comment. Subscribe if you would want to see more, and uh, tell me what you think, and share this to other people so they can learn and improve their editing skills. And I think that's it. Here's your perfect loop. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will see you on our next edit. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it.